Hello everybody. I'm going to do a Saturday afternoon shave today, which is a little bit unusual. Hopefully I'll get through this. This is the third attempt I've made to start this video and gotten interrupted two times. So, third time's a charm. I'm going to be using today a brush that uh, is first time in a shave video. It's uh, Scott Pavovich made the handle for me. It's Balti Maple in a barbershop type design. Fantastic. Lay the work there, Scott. I put a Virginia Ching silver tip badger brush, uh, yeah, badger brush uh, knot in it. 26 millimeter. This brush, in comparison to the other brushes I have, far out exceeds it in a performance. I've got a, a TGN brush here in, in my uh, uh, Ever Ready Renaut. I've got other Frank Shave brushes. They feel softer on the face when dry, but once this thing gets wet, once this t uh, Virginia Shin brush gets wet it feels phenomenally soft and almost like the tips are are super absorbed with water and just float across the face. I'm going to be using Sella, a soft Italian soap with a little bit of an almond scent. I've had that little bit of water soaking on it. I'm going to shake my brush out a little bit get it just damp. Start working. That should be all we need. This, the, there's still a few little bristles coming out, but probably overall, since I've started breaking in this brush, I've had probably less than less than eight hairs, probably. And another thing I've noticed with this brush, it holds water very, very well, but it releases The lather has good flow through. It's good face lathering. It's good bowl lathering. I've got this set at 50 millimeters. Overall length of this brush is 120 millimeters. Fantastic leather from that cellar. Doesn't take much. A little bit more water on it. Wonderful face feel. Okay. Now, on to the rest. I'm going to be using a four-piece travel razor. It's a, a non-name German razor that Scott Pavovich gave to me. Just the two-piece handles, you screwed the handle. And I think it originally came in maybe a little tin or a pack. It's an open combed type design, very much like a Gillette old type. And I'm going to give a shot. It may not last the whole thing, but I'm going to use a Persona Vintage Stainless Steel Blade. From friends of mine that are more knowledgeable than me about this, this came in on a, on a cardboard in a mailer. It had probably at least a dozen, maybe 20 blades. It's triple wrapped. It has that wrapper has this exterior wrapper, then it has this 
wax paper type wrapper. And what he told me was that this was a blade that was sent to troops in World War II. It's got a little bit different design on it than a lot of different razor blades, a little different cutout. Almost sort of like a seagull type cutout shape, but not quite. And he tells me, and then see also too, I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you can pick up, I'll maybe insert a, a picture that's a close up of it. Oh, I, I do have a picture of this blade on the blog that uh, Scott Pavlovich and I have been doing. It's vintage vintageRazorCollection.com and I've been posting some blog entries and some of my shave video with additional comments but that blade almost looks like it's honed like it's got a beveled edge almost but this is the razor after it's been put together pretty, maybe a little bit shorter than standard but uh, I've used it a couple of times. It, it gives a good shave. Um, we'll see how it does with the cellar. I've had this lather on my face soaking a little bit. I'm just going to rub it in just a little bit and then reapply. I'm doing this as a pre. And since I've started doing this technique after reading the, the 1905 ebook shaving made easy I've noticed that there's a lot of guys the old timers that's what they do I just saw one of the uh, it's the 30 year anniversary shave that that does is a straight razor shave by a man for his 30th anniversary and I noticed that he applied the lather first and then he went to do his stropping then he stropped his straight razor and then he came back and reapplied but as a pre just applying the the lather and allowing that lather to interact with the beard and to soften the beard you don't need any other prep but here we go Not bad. Mm, we'll see. Feels sharp enough. It is not tuggy. But always the with the grain pass for me. is not where the test comes in. It's across the grain and against the grain that if I'm going to have a rough shave, that's where it's going to be. Ah, a little tuggy around the, the lips.
I think universally, probably one of the faults that we all do is thinking that once we've made our, our shave lather, that we don't need to revisit it with water again later on. Because even when you have like a thinner application, adding some water can allow it to bloom a little bit better. And also too, sometimes it dries out just enough that adding some water helps. Not bad. It feels not unlike the other personas, the Persona 74 that I did. It does feel a little tuggy on the on the chin. It's a loose lather out. It's getting all over the place. Not bad. Not bad for at least a maybe 50 year old blade and probably just as old a razor. Do some warm water there. Oh, 
off a little bit. And now some aftershave. Aqua Velva Musk. This is another one of those hidden in plain sight products that I've seen on the shelves for years and years and years and years. I never picked it up. Back in the 80s, the musky smells of aftershave I just didn't like. And I can't remember which ones they were, but musk was a very, very popular scent back then. I know my brother-in-law used a musk that he loved. I don't remember what it was, but I just didn't like the musky smell back then. So it stuck. I looked at musk, I go, eh, nah, no, don't want it. This stuff is phenomenal, phenomenal scent. And it's a nice lasting scent. And of course, there's something about an aqua velvet man. You need to try it. Fantastic face feel. Fantastic shave. This is maybe a couple of little teeny tiny spots I could go back over again and touch up. I'm not going to waste time doing that here. So I'll call it a baby butt smooth shave. Very good shave. Thank you, Scott, for the razor and the brush handle. Thank you very much. Until next time, get into the blog that, I, that Scott and I have started at VintageRazorCollections.com. The blog is under uh, Restorations and Recollections tab. I've got some uh, review videos and some comments on under the review section. We've posted some pictures, some shave porn that uh, will be enjoyable. He originally started off this page to be a, a, a showcase for his uh, brush handle collection. He's going to be selling them off of another site. So he decided to, to turn that into a, a blog just for a variety of things. But uh, make comments. Go to the blog and make comments. Uh, it's only through the comments that, that I get the feedback that I need to know if the articles and the things that I'm writing is touching home or just eh, they're boring, they're too long, they're too short, whatever. So leave some comments. Uh, give us some feedback on what we're doing there. And if it's not suiting your needs, if it's not something that you like, then we know we need to go a different direction with it. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Future Novelist. Watch us on the boards. Uh, the Facebook groups, and we'll talk with you later. Have some good shaves. Be happy, but definitely be safe. Bye bye.